All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. You'll you you'll know when I'm ready. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> it feels like it feels like now we've gone back and forth about the beginning too much. I just wanted to sing something, and I was hoping you would join in on it with me. Anyways, here we go. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again, again, again. LJ's back, back, back with his friend James. James, James. Guess who's back? <laughs> Like I was trying to keep like a straight face, and I couldn't <laughs> fucking hold it. <laughs> I mean, I was just kind of thinking it would be a little funny to just sing that, and literally the only thing that I changed was just <laughs> add our names into it. He couldn't find a trace of his Like not even like a good. I don't even think I used the right number of syllables at the end there, but. <laughs> I just thought it would be kind of funny to start the episode that way. It was Stanley extremely funny. Okay, so he wants he us to go the in the left there. door, so you are gonna go in the left door. Yeah, this we're gonna, we're just gonna phone it in this episode. James is feeling tired, he says, so we're just gonna really, really phone oh. it in. Just let the narrator direct us around. Oh, I see how this goes. <laughs> it's my yeah, fault now. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to be tired. Obviously, we don't sleep. We just. Uh, we're superheroes. Who was the broom closet? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing nice. here, so he turned around and got back on track. All right, get back on track. Get back on track. But the broom closet. There was nothing. <laughs> no choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No okay, speaking of like together. feeling stupid while singing, um. The other day I was like sitting at my computer and I was kind of thinking about making like kind of I really like Dark Souls. I played a lot of Dark Souls 3 lately. I was thinking about making kind of like a kind of making it like a montage parody type deal type video for uh, Dark Souls 3 um, or just like a PvP video in general. And I was thinking as I was thinking about this like the fucking autistic kid came out in me and I was just like making fucking air horn sounds to myself like no one was there to really hear it Tayra was in the other room and she could just like kind of hear me sitting there like fur, 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 like <laughs> just sitting there to myself because <laughs> I was just thinking about what I wanted in my video <laughs> <laughs> He's not very happy with me. Hey, would you just get out? People don't want to watch you. People do not want to watch you puzzle all night or day, depending on what time they're watching this. Did you get the broom? Get on. Did you get the broom closet ending? Apologize to our viewers. What are you doing? He see he Stanley he, was fat and ugly and really really stupid. <laughs> it's he so bad. A job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? Dude, well, he's getting really mad head. that I'm in the closet. What's going on right now? You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit. And we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you <laughs> oh my God. The <laughs> when in a situation like this the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose hello anyone who happens to be nearby oh my God. The person at this computer is dead he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Rest in pieces, the LJ. Of your species. 1996 to 2016. Jay will have to pick up the controller. <laughs> the computer, sure they understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
So yeah. the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Okay. Yeah. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay. Is there like a secret or something that you know about about this closet, or are you just doing um, this? He just keeps saying stuff while I'm in here. Well, get out. This is probably boring as fuck for people to watch. No. Oh come on. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I really don't think that we're that interesting that people are gonna want to watch us do they this They are going forever. to love it. Come on, this is like half no, the I'm episode. No, <laughs> I'm going to wait him out. You, oh. I'm going to wait him out. <laughs> he can't find me in here. LJ. Yes. You are really James. Good. Oh, my nerves. <sighs> I know why you're doing this. Why am I doing this? You're doing this because I said, man, you know, it's been a really long ass day. You know, I've been working all day, <laughs> literally for 11 hours, and fucking, you know, you're like, oh, okay, we'll do one more. Uh, you can just phone it in, it'll be fine. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley okay. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, cool. We're on our way. To the boss's office. To the boss's office. Yeah. I'm here! <laughs> hey, Honey, boss. I'm home! Hey, yo, boss. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley hey, was well stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. No, don't touch that. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth <clears throat> that his boss had been keeping from him. Yeah. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pressing <clears throat> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was just mashing random buttons. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What? Wait. Oh! That one, that big ass that, one. Yeah, with just bright that light. huge <laughs> gaping hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, also, God. um. Now that I've mentioned Dark Souls in in this playthrough, I just want to say uh, that um, as a viewer of this channel, I'm requesting Dark Souls Three. You're not a viewer, <laughs> ass much. <laughs> I watched our videos more than anyone, probably. Um, that's not fair because I watch our videos sometimes too. <laughs> I usually, I mean, technically, as our editor, I have to watch each of them once, at least. At the very yeah. least. And then you probably watch them when you upload them, too, right? I usually just, like, quality control. No, I meant, like, uh, like, just, like, like after. Well, I usually, um, give them, like, a quick watch through, or, like, show them to Tava or something, once they're up on YouTube. It's just what I meant. Like a quality control watch, like just make sure nothing about it is what fucked up. What secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah. Did he have the strength? Did he have the street knowledge? He I, was I, an OG. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> now the monitors jumped to life. Whoa. Their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each more than a of an employee in the building. Whoa. The lives of ah! to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Weird. Wait, is that red screen? Is that red text one mine? Do you think? Is I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention to what, where all the numbers. No, were. the uh, maybe. Wait. Four two seven. I don't know. I wasn't paying enough well, attention. Kind of hard to figure out which one's which. No, it wasn't that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Turn no, around. No, I, 
I saw it. It's just like it this wasn't that one. Control for oh. That one was like 492 and ours is like Wait, I just saw 427. I saw it, but it's just... It's just, it's just a desk, you see it? Like, it's oh. almost center screen for me now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah see. Okay. We no. I love how he's getting all into his narration and we're just fucking trying to find our desk. <laughs> Unthinkable. But it's like Google Maps, you know, ever, the first time anybody has ever... Uh, discovered Google Maps, they instantly go to their house. <laughs> That's true. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he yeah. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yeah. Damn. That's pretty heavy shit. Turn it off. Whoa. Oh, damn it. You turned the whole thing oh, off. Oh, I turned off the game. God damn I, it. Dude, I, uh, I. Oh. I, oh. There's something. I think I'm moving. Am I. What? Am I. And am I do it? <laughs> Am I here? I, Let me out! Let me out of this brutal nightmare! Whoa. He had won. What? He had defeated the machine. Nice. Oh, look at that blue sky. Command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yeah. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where yeah. Had his co-workers gone? Yeah. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Whoa. As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Too For deep was five not knowledge or even power <sighs> that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his nice. goal had not been Look to at those him, trees. But to let go. Pretty. No longer would anyone They're pretty shitty cuz I only look at VR trees, 144 <sighs> FPS. Uh, 4K resolution, and it's also porn, because I just watch VR porn every moment of my life. Actually, I was just gonna say that they're pretty. Oh. <laughs> to each their own. I, I constantly live in VR porn reality. <laughs> yeah, I have sex with ten women every day, in my imagination. Like what can you say about your life? <laughs> and had sex in the cake. <laughs> Stanley was happy with his VR porn. Nice. Nicely done, Lance. Really nice of you to finish yeah. that game for me. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Hey, we're back to my. And now I can finally type X and Y. Let me, let me add him. Let me, let me answer the phone. Let me. Okay. Let me, let me make a call. Call boss man. Boss man, why is the boss code man. on your thing? Two eight four five. Hello. Shut up. Hello. 